Hola Marina, ¿cómo estás? Hola Ben, fenomenal, ¿y tú? Muy bien, gracias. Today we've got another wonderful Spanish phrases video. We had a great comment from Chris T, who said that he'd been enjoying the recent run of, of, of real Spanish phrase videos that we've been doing. We hope you're enjoying them too. And he gave us an idea, Marina, yes. which was phrases with what? With dar. Dash. Dar. Which, dar. I'm sorry, I did it with English yeah, accent. Is, Marina's speaking <laughs> an English accent today, so hopefully my Spanish accent will, will improve dar. in equal measure. <laughs> so, uh, let's see, okay? You can give me some, some accent pointers <laughs> if I get it wrong. Right. Um, so, yeah, da. Uh, to give. Mm -hmm. Right? The verb da, to give. Te doy, I give you something. Um, but there are some fantastic phrases with yes. da, which are incredibly common. And if you use them, you're going to sound mm -hmm. amazing, uh, uh, authentic everyday Spanish, which is what we want. We want you to sound fantastic and people to congratulate you on how authentic you sound. So let's go, Marina. Chris came up with a few examples, wonderful examples. So yes. we're going to start with them and add some of our own. And at the end of the video, uh, we're going to tell you about a, a, a little gift we've got for you with all, with a whole lot more dash. <laughs> te, te vamos a dar algo sobre dar. <laughs> okay, Marina, first phrase from Chris. First phrase from Chris is, ¿Qué más da? Yeah. Who cares? <laughs> ¿Qué más da? So, an example. For example, my daughter lost a jumper the other day. Yeah. And I say, ¿qué más da? Ya te estaba pequeño. Yeah, a jumper, un jersey. Yes. ¿Qué más da? It was, how we say? ¿Qué más I, da? I ya usually te... wouldn't be so happy that she lost a jumper. <laughs> <laughs> but in this case, yeah, right. I didn't care because it was already too small. Marina's standard response when her children lose a piece of clothing, when our children lose a piece of clothing, is not, que más da? <laughs> it's, it's very different. No. It's not who cares. But you said, que más da? Ya te estaba pequeño. Yes. It, was, you, it was too big, it's too small for you already. Yeah. Okay, que más da? Next one. Se me da muy bien el castellano. Yes, I'm very good at Spanish. Se me da muy bien el castellano. Another, castellano is another word for, for Spanish. Yes. Um, the language. But it could be, you know... Some... Se me da muy bien coser. Sí, I'm very good at sewing. Se me da muy bien um, arreglar bicis. Se me dan I'm... bien los idiomas. Right, so mine was fixing bicycles and yours, is, you said languages. So yeah, there's the expression. Se mm. me da bien. Um, another one from Chris. Yes. ¿Quién da la vez? Right. Who's, who's the last in line? ¿Quién yes. da la vez? It's such a strange expression. Porque vez is like the turn. Who gives the turn? Not veth alguna vez, some time. Veth often means it's related to time. But in this case, quien da la vez? Mm -hmm. Who's the last in the queue? So you use this in the post office. In the market. In the, market. In the post office, not anymore. They right. have a, a oh, yeah, screen. I usually get a little ticket now yeah. or a screen. But in, in marketplaces, you'll, yeah. you'll still use this. And good luck to you because we go to a market often in a small town in the Pyrenees and there's a big like huddle of people in front of the stall. And you could turn up and you go, quien da la vez? And some... A uh, nice person will say, yo, or yo soy el último, or yo soy la, la última, means I'm the last in line. And you go, okay, that means I'm after that person. And then 15 people come along and push in front of you <laughs> without asking quien da la vez, and it's total <laughs> chaos. But anyway, in an ideal world, you say quien da la vez, you know that you're last, and then someone else comes and asks quien da la vez, and you say, yo, yo soy, yo soy el último, and, and so on and so on. Yes, but the British are much more neatly... Uh, the neat. British know how to queue. They do their cues very neatly. Yes. Whereas the Spanish are more chaotic. Yeah, exactly. The Spanish, when you talk about queuing, they, they say... keep an eye. They say, que mas da? <laughs> Who cares? We'll just, we'll just go for it. A free-for-all. Right. Um, right, so... I once went to a bar in Madrid. In my first year in Madrid, we had a favourite bar. We'd finished work in international house, language school, where I used to teach English. This was a while back, 1998-1999. And um, afterwards, we'd go to a bar called La Encina, which was our local, almost every night. It was, it was a good life. And, uh, and there was a Colombian waitress in there who would occasionally produce a little film canister, you know, in the old days when people put films into cameras, full of uh, fried ants, a speciality in, in Colombia. And she'd say, who wants, to, who wants to try one? And we'd all go, eh, no, no, no. And we'd say, me da grima. 
Me da grima, yeah, or me da asco. I, I wouldn't say that to her, me da asco, me da asco. Uh, I'd have said it, it was <laughs> asqueroso total. It was totally asqueroso, totally disgusting, horrible. What I mean is be careful where you use me da asco, because right, it wouldn't strong. be polite to use that in a, sitting at a table when someone offers something okay, to yeah. you. <laughs> Not in a dinner party, but if a joking... <laughs> Colombian uh, bar lady who okay. you get on with very well tries to make you eat a fried ham. I think it's okay to say, me da asco. Me da grima, seguro. Me da grima is much more polite. Fino, más fino, más yeah. So how disgusting, yeah. So mm. that's a good one. Um, you are embarrassed by something. Yes. You came up with the example of sending our daughter to ask the waiter for a new glass in a restaurant and she might say she's embarrassed. She might me say, da vergüenza. Mama, me da vergüenza. Me da vergüenza. O, o me da corte. Yeah. Me da corte, me da vergüenza. I'm embarrassed. Yeah. yeah mm. for it makes me feel embarrassed. Right. Those are Chris's. Fantastic. Now we've got a few to add. Uh, um, lots of family examples today. When we tell our son to go and have a shower after his basketball training, he may often say, No me da la gana. No, he doesn't say No, he'd say, Of course, mummy. Sometimes he yeah. says no, but he doesn't say, No me da la gana, which is like. But you came up with this example. Yeah. It's, 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 I've got it here. No me da la gana. No me da la gana. I don't feel like it. Yeah. I don't feel like it is a light translation. Yes. <laughs> Depending on the tone of voice. No me da la gana. <laughs> Means I, more I be, don't want to. I do not want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> so la gana. Tengo ganas yeah. de ir al cine. I want to go to the cinema. Ganas y gana is this funny, almost untranslatable word to have a desire to do something. Mm -hmm. Tengo ganas de tomar um, un bizcocho. Mm -hmm. I really feel like having some cake. But in this case, no, no me, me da, da la, la gana, gana. I don't feel like it. O no okay. tengo ganas, también puedes decir. No tengo ganas. Pero yeah. no tiene da. Yeah, doesn't got the verb da. Claro, so claro. Like, no, 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 no. Um, me da igual. Ben, ¿quieres pollo o pescado para comer? Chicken or fish for lunch, me da igual. Eh, o me da lo mismo. Mm -hmm. Okay, so both mean the same thing. Me da igual, I don't mind. Me da lo mismo, I don't mind. Yes. Yeah. In this case, two options, both are fine by me. Okay, um, I love this one. Mm -hmm. What we're about to say literally means it doesn't make me hot or cold. <laughs> no me da. When would you use it doesn't make me hot or cold? <laughs> I mean, it's just bizarre. Come on, in Spanish. Okay, no me da ni frío ni calor. Right, it doesn't give me either cold or heat, literally. Y, for example, I would use this example if I have to sleep alone at home. Ben yeah. gets more frightened than I do. Frightened. Okay. <laughs> Hang I on a minute. Say, a mí no me da ni when, I was, ni calor. when I was young, we lived in a 15th century ancient farmhouse in, in, in the UK near Oxford, right? Sort of dark corridors you couldn't quite see down. And me and my sisters had very vivid imaginations and we were convinced that the house was haunted. And I tell you, until even when I was 18, I did not want to sleep in that house on my own. It was terrifying. It was a properly scary house for people with a creative imagination. <laughs> so Marina often jokes with me about this. Anyway, I then went and lived in lots of houses where I um, happily spent the night there on my own. So this is not an ongoing thing. I got over it. It was just that particular house. So um, No me da ni frío ni calor. Right, so if I say to Marina, do you mind sleeping on your own... Yeah, but I bet that house would have been different. Anyway, she'd say, no me da ni frío ni calor. Yeah. I couldn't care less. I don't mm. mind at all. Right. Um, and the final one. Me da que. Me, me da, da que. que. It gives that. It Intuyo. gives to me that. Right. I got the feeling would I be the translation. I got the feeling. So, me da que Maria tiene novio. Mm -hmm. I've got the feeling that Maria's got a boyfriend. Not Marina. <laughs> right? I hope not. <laughs> At the end of the videos. Uh, <laughs> Maria. Maria. So, me da que Maria tiene novio. I've got the feeling that Maria's got a boyfriend. Okay. I think that's plenty of da phrases to be getting on with. But we've got an amazing PDF that we want to give to you that we actually made some time ago, but it's fantastic. And it's got, I think, something like 34 uses of the verb dar, that. which don't mean to give. All the other uses. I'm not sure if these are all there, but I should think some of them are. So, there will be a link underneath here to download that. That's just a, a gift we want you to take and enjoy and use them so that you sound super good at Spanish and people really praise you for how much you know and how much you've learned. And, ¿qué más? Nada más por hoy. Así. Make sure you've signed up for our newsletter. If you haven't yet, you will get a copy of our How to Sound Super Fluent in Spanish report, which has helped endless people from 
almost every country in the world to get much more fluent in Spanish. So uh, we'd love you to have that as well. You can get that by signing up for our newsletter below. Y nos vemos pronto. Leave us a comment. Do you know any other phrases with that? What else would you like to see in our videos? Do let us know as well. Make sure you get that free gift, the DAO report. Join our newsletter and we'll be back soon. Hasta luego. Hasta luego.